I were Malthus, I would give you that answer, of course. <laughs> but if it was Charles Darwin, I'll give you another answer. <clears throat> and in fact, if I was Adam Smith, I'd give you a third answer. Well, I have too many answers for you. Um, the mechanical era sort of um, obviated the need for doomsday predictions with regards to out-of-control populations because every time it appeared that we couldn't do anything more, we could do something more. So we had the first green revolutions, which I just talked about. The second green revolution came when it became obvious that if you don't start fertilizing the ground with, her, uh, with fertilizers, with food supplements, I should say, uh, and if we don't start trying to get rid of the competitor species, namely the weeds with herbicides, and, uh, and also the pests that want to eat this crop, that we can now grow to, to profusion as the result of the invention of dynamite, by the way. Uh, yeah, because it allowed us to clear the fields of all those rotten little trees that we had to get rid of. So <laughs> too bad, because we could use those trees again. Um, we now find ourselves in a, another dilemma where we think the population will peak and the food supply will dwindle, so we'll be once again involved in a Malthusian um, mind game. I don't believe that for a minute. I think that whatever problem is presented to the human species, we've got such a big uh, cerebral cortex, we can solve it if we all agree to. And that's, that's the issue. Do we want to solve the next problem to usher in the third green revolution. The second one was all of those pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizer things, plus uh, not genetically modified foods, but certainly uh, highly selected foods. And in fact, if you look at our food today, virtually every crop that's grown originated from some wild plant that you would not recognize. An apple is about the size of a, a little pea. It started out in the middle of Russia someplace, and if you took a bite of it, you wouldn't be able to eat for a week. Your mouth would be closed. It's so sour that you wouldn't believe that someone would actually want to eat this thing. But yet, domestication of that plant has now resulted in, believe it or not, 20,000 different varieties of apples from a single unit plant. All right, so you look at wheat, it's been the same. You look at rice, it's been the same. We've been marvelous at selecting crops to fit into climates that are suited for the optimum growth of those plants. But what was there before? That's the point. There, there was a natural ecosystem there before we planted those crops.